Logic's got a lot of nice score features, but they can be a bit difficult to figure out how to use in the beginning. In part, that's just because there's so many features that are out there and available. So let's look at a basic one, and that is just you want to be able to see more than one track written together as a score, not just an individual part, but a full score. If we double click on a track, typically it'll default to opening in a separate split view, in this case piano view. And I can see these notes and tap on them and move. So I have that. Cool. If I go like this and tap on this other one, synth, I hear those sounds. So I have those. But I might want to be able to see all this stuff together. Look what happens when I, when I select both of them with shift click. Let's do one of them again. There's just the synth instruments. Okay, and when I click again with shift on the next, see how it adds the other melody in? Just the line down there, let's move it again. So, we'd like to be able to do that with a score too. I click here and hit score. And when I hit score, I just see piano. Okay, cool, now let's go ahead and shift down and, and click synth too. But nothing happens. Ah, it doesn't work the same as the MIDI um, window that just combines them together. And the reason why is because um, this view is intended to be able to make it so that you can print out different uh, sets of instrument for different groups of people in the orchestra. Sometimes you just want to print not the entire score with a bunch of instruments, but sections like the brass or strings or whatever, and you want to separately print them out or separately work with them. So there's an extra added layer of stuff that goes on in the score editor. And what you got to do is this. Once you're in the score editor, click on it to make sure that you're within the score editing not that you've recently clicked here make sure that you click again so you see it like highlighted in blue or something okay and when you do if you look at the top left corner of the inspector here if you don't see it hit inspector when you look at the top left corner of the inspector it'll say filter if it's filtered onto one instrument it'll only show that here's piano now here's synth now look at the top all instruments now it'll show everything. I'm on the correct view here, page view, rather than scroll view or linear view, which will show it from left to right as far as the music goes. And I can also edit this all in its own window if I prefer. I can go to here to view, and I can go to score, oh, rather, uh, window, and open score editor. And now I can see the whole thing as a printable score that I might want to use um, for musicians to play. Again, I can see these different views of it. And if I want to only see the piano, I can say piano, because maybe I want to make the part just for piano player, or I want to send out the part for just the synth player. If I want the whole score to show everyone, hit all instruments, and then I'm good. There are a lot more things you can do with this. You can also customize it so you can have different sets of different scores and things um, to make it easier for you to view and edit this stuff. Um, but that's beyond the purview of this video. Hope that it was helpful to you.